Welcome to Math Girl Inc. Today guys we'll be looking at sequence. The term sequence means a list of numbers in a specific order. So that means 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Each number in a sequence is called a term. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term and so on. The sum of the sequence is called a series. So 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, that will give us a series. There are three types of sequences, arithmetic, geometric, and quadratic. Now, most times students are unable to connect a particular topic to the real world. Now, here is how sequence is applicable to the real world. Take for instance, you are keeping a birthday party and you want to cater for 64 friends. You can use sequence to find out how many pizzas to buy if each person will get only one slice. Now, let us look at the relationship between the number of pizzas. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we realize that it is increasing by 1, so we could continue by adding 5 six, seven, and so on. If we look at the relationship between the numbers of number of slices, we realize that it is increasing by eight, so we could continue 40, 48, 56, and so on. And we could continue until we get to 64, then we realize how many pizzas to buy. Now let's take a look at a real question. And this is a PEP question. Find the next three terms in the following. Again, we look for the relationship between the numbers. So it is increasing. So we're gonna subtract the second term from the first term. We get four. We subtract again, we get 4. We subtract again, we get 4. So 4 there is our common difference. So since it is increasing, therefore we add 4 each time. So if we continue to add 4, we can get the next 3 terms. So 18 plus 4 will give us 22. 22 plus 4 will give us 26. And 26 plus 4 will give us 30. There we go. Alright, let's look at method 2. Now, in method 2, we're going to draw a table. So, I'm going to quickly rule up a table and see how best we can solve this problem. And I encourage my students to use rulers, neatness is a must. All right, so the top here we have term, and here we have nth term, and here we have common difference. All right, now this method is used when you are asked to find any term in the sequence. So you could be asked to find the 80th term, you can. The 100th term, you can. The 15th term, you can. All right. In this case, we are asked to find the 5th, 6th, and 7th term. So let us put in what we know. So that's 6, 10, 14, 18, and that would be the first term, second term, third, fourth, we want to find fifth, sixth, seventh. Now when we subtract the second from the first, we get four, so that is what we call our common difference. Now, 4 times 
1 will give us 4. But what we really want is 6. 4 times 2 will give us 8. What we want is 10. 4 times 3 is 12. What we want is 14. And so on. So therefore, what we need to get to 6, what we need to get to 10. We need to add 2. So 4 once 4 plus 2 will give us 6. 4 times 2, 8 plus 2 will give us 10. So here, 4 times 5 will give us 20 plus 2 will give us 22. 4, 6, 24 plus 2 will give us 26. 4, 7, 28 plus 2 will give us 30. So we could write a formula that says 4 times n plus 2. And that's our formula we could use to find any term. Wherever n is, we put the term in. So if we want to find the 10th term, we put 10 there. So 4 times 10, 40 plus 2, 42. So the 10th term in this sequence would be 42. Alright, let's look at this one. What two numbers will extend the pattern? 1, 4, 9, 16. Alright, clearly, if we subtract the second from first, we'll have 3, 5, 7, and we could we realize that these are odd numbers. So we could say, 9 plus 16 would give us 25 and 11 plus 25 will give us 36. Alright? But we are not sure if it is odd numbers only or prime numbers because 3, 5, 7 are also prime numbers. So if it is prime numbers, that's the sequence or that's the pattern, they would have to skip 9. Alright, so we jump to 11. 11 plus 16 will give us 27. 27 plus 13 will give us 40. And we have both answers here. So to be sure... Which one to follow? Let's observe the numbers again. Look at the relationship between 1 and 4, 4 and 9, 9 and 16. I'll give you a second. And if your answer is they're all square numbers. So 1 times 1 give us 1. 2 times 2 give us 4. 3 times 3 give us 9. 4 times 4 give us 16. So 5 times 5 will give us 25. And 6 times 6 will give us 36. So our answer is A. Alright, so be careful guys. When we are doing these number pattern, you can be easily tricked. Alright, thanks guys for watching. And remember, the joy of math is hidden in the answer.